10 TV's Ashley Barry attended this evening's rally and joins us live in the newsroom with more on the story. Ashley? Well, Chuck, the family of Brittany Jeffers wants to see change in their community. They understand it's going to take some time, but they're hopeful what happened to this young mother will never happen again. She was murdered. Heartbroken, the father of Brittany Jeffers' two young children joined dozens of others for an afternoon peace march that stretched from the Southside neighborhood where police say the 21-year-old was beaten, all the way to police department headquarters on Franklin Street, about a mile away. Banded together, they say, for a community desperately in need. If you're not going to look out for your neighbor, if you're not going to look out for your loved ones and your family, who is? Gerald Young, a friend of Brittany's, asked for the community's help in healing after police say Jeffers was beaten and kicked repeatedly last week. I sat down beside her and her eyes were still open and held her hand and told her how much I loved her and she just couldn't say nothing back. Brittany was declared brain dead on Thursday, just a day after Circleville investigators say 37-year-old Nicole Lazier and 20-year-old Cameron Eby, along with two juveniles, participated in the riot act against her. Brittany's mother only had this to say about the accused. I just hope that they get what they deserve because we want justice for Brittany. A young woman whose life, she says, was so senselessly cut short. One, two, A young mother who leaves behind five-year-old Isaiah and four-year-old Alyssa. Where's mommy at, baby girl? In heaven. Yep, mommy's in heaven with Jesus, huh? We're also told one of Brittany's greatest joys was to attend Alyssa's ballet lessons. Meantime, many of those who attended the march plan to start a block watch there on the south side and attend the next city council meeting. The family says at this point, funeral arrangements are still pending. Reporting in the newsroom, Ashley Berry, 10TV News.